It is a strange paradox that many of our clearest, most comforting life lessons are learned while we are at our lowest. But then we never think about food more than when we are hungry and we never think about life rafts more than when we are thrown overboard. The structure of the book is wonderfully random. It is a collection of consolations learned in hard times and suggestions for making the bad days better. It has chapters long and short, quotes, case studies and the occasional recipe, music and movie recommendations. The book is about hope, it's about survival, it's about going through today because tomorrow can and will get better. The comfort book has a non-judgmental, friendly tone, akin to listening to a friend on a cold December night over a cup of hot chocolate. Matt Haig reminds us that we do not have to go on a spiral, improving ourselves to love ourselves. Love is not something you only deserve if you reach a goal. You were born worthy of love, and you remain worthy of love. Be kind to yourself, it's okay to be broken. The Comfort Book offers a keen-eyed observation on contemporary life. Yes, some chapters may sound too idealistic, self-helpy and devoid of refreshing content, but Matt Haig has somehow managed to make it work. The book is still a fun read even if you are not feeling low or in need of comfort. When going through tough times amidst the despair and the chaos, all a person needs is a hand that holds theirs and assures them that things will be alright and stays with them till they can breathe normally again. And this idea of connection echoes throughout the book. As Emily Dickinson wrote, Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul, and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and so must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the tillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Hope, in its simplest form, is the acceptance of possibility. The acceptance that if we are suddenly lost in a forest, there will be a way through. All we need is a plan and a little determination. Thank you so much for watching.